Drop a like, share this video one time. We're going to talk about Charleston White. Charleston White, he's out here talking about the Mexicans recklessly. Shit's crazy as fuck, man. But I'm, I'm going to play something for you guys so y'all can, y'all can hear what I heard. And uh, and then we can just talk about it. All of us can talk about it. You know, uh, is this man really talking recklessly? Uh, we already know he's talking crazy to everyone else, but to really say fuck Mexicans, that's fucking insane. But look, I'm, I'm going to play what he, what he said. Viva la Mexico. Fuck Viva la Mexico. Fuck that Mexican flag. Fuck Santa Ana. Fuck the babies that Donald Trump gathered up at the border and put their motherfucking ass in cages. Fuck them dead kids that got killed at that school in Uvalde, Texas, where all the punk-ass Mexican police were scared to run in on the Mexican boy that was in there slaughtering the Mexican babies. Fuck them babies, nigga. And I'm from Texas. Fuck them babies that died in that school in Uvalde. I ain't got no heart for dead Mexican babies. Fuck them babies. I ain't crying for them people. Didn't give a damn. Not one black kid died in a school shooting. So what? I only got a heart for But yeah, the dude basically saying, you know, um, fuck Mexicans. He's saying, fuck the Mexican kids that got killed in the Uvalde um, incident at school. Uh, he's saying that he don't got no love for Mexican kids. He's saying, fuck them. He's saying there was no black kids killed in that school, so it doesn't matter. He's saying, fuck them. He's saying, fuck, fuck the Mexican mafia. He's saying, you know, fuck Mexicans in general. You know, um, uh, that's crazy as fuck. Somebody just sent me this video, man, and I'm just, I just want to react to it and, and talk about it a little bit. What do you guys think about that? Drop a comment and let's talk about it. You know, if anybody wants to go live, you could also tap in if you want. You know what I'm saying? Shout out Ruben. Uh, shout out Jay, Armando, Kathy Torres. Um, and she's out there in Fort Worth. Yeah, that's where he's from. He's talking reckless. And uh, he, he lives out here in Texas. And I don't know. This guy really just feels like he's bulletproof, man. Uh, he, he's crazy as hell. But, uh, you know, he, he was showing earlier all of his guns that he had and all that stuff. Um, so I just think it's crazy that he would stoop down and talk about dead kids. Um, that shit's fucking retarded to me. He said, all for attention. I don't even know who that guy is. Yeah, that's, he's just a fucking retard. He says, uh, my new nephew was in room 211 next to 212. Fuck him. See, you know, so there's people right here that had family that were victims of Uvalde. So that, that's crazy. Uh, P. Delgado says, he's just another dead man walking and talking. He doing his own people the same way. You ain't lying. That, that's real. Um, yeah, yeah. It, you know, it's, it's just sad, man, that, that people, you know, the whole social media shit these days, you know, it, you know, it gets people that, that come out and speak their mind, you know, and, um, Everything's not hidden these days. Now people are coming out and talking how they really feel. Um, you know, a lot of Mexicans supported um, the whole Black Lives Matter thing. And, um, you know, we stand, you know, with our brown brothers. You know what I mean? And uh, uh, we stand with everyone. You know, if, you know, at the end of the day, if white folks are getting treated bad, we're going to stand with them. If, you know, if, if, if uh Black folks get treated bad, we stand with them. Mexicans stand with everybody, really, you know. So to go on and just stir up shit and talk shit about uh, Mexican kids that got killed in, in the Uvalde shooting, that's just crazy as hell. I know he's trying to hit headlines with this kind of shit. But just know that, you know, it's not safe out here because somebody's going to feel disrespected about what you said. You know, just like when anyone else out here speaks on being racist. You know, it's the same thing. And the crazy part about it all is his, uh, he has a baby mama that's Mexican and, um, uh, her family doesn't like the motherfucker. So, you know, that's probably why, cause he says all this crazy ass shit, you know, um, 
He says another form of uh, this is a Reuben uh, Bankston, another form of dividing the Rasa and blacks. I'm from the funk and fucks with the Rasa. A bunch of us do. I'm mixed, so it's a must. I fucks with both with, with the Rasa. So yeah, that's what's up. Much love in, in uh, Abilene, Texas. Uh, Daniel, what's good? Uh, Emily and Davis. I stand with everyone uh, being. Let me see. Uh, treated with kindness and respect. I'm with that 100%. Um, RIP Miss Garcia's classroom 212. You know, yeah. So there, there's people on here that the, their family actually felt, um, you know, everything that you know that that happened with that incident in Uvalde. So it's just crazy, man, that someone would speak out and just say reckless shit like this, like fuck Mexicans, fuck. Um, the, the dead kids that are, you know, from the incident in, in, in Uvalde. Dude said, uh, RIP Big Floyd, you know, RIP Big Floyd, you know, that was a big movement. I, you know, I was out there talking about that too. Um, so, you know, I just wanted to talk about it a little bit. Uh, I will be posting, um, uh, the video, um, on YouTube as well. But it's crazy. I don't think we should let this man just, uh, be out here talking reckless like that. He's, he's talking about a lot of lives here. He's talking about the, the Mexican people in general. Um, and, uh, you know, I would like, you know, if he's watching, I, I would like to know his input. Like, how can you talk rec reckless on Mexicans and you have a kid that that's half Mexican? So, you know, I think it's retarded as hell. Another thing, guys, uh, I know Facebook added the stars up above right here. So I don't know if you see that. But I haven't uh, checked it out yet. But if y'all could send me some stars, I think it's like a dollar and you can send like 90. I think that, that would be cool as hell just to see what that even looks like. <laughs> so if one of you guys want to try it out for me for the first time. But uh, but yeah, not to get off topic. Um, it's crazy. It's just it's just crazy. It, it, for him, it should be too close to home for him to be speaking like that. You, you're living in Fort Worth which there's so many Mexicans out there in Dallas. You're, you're roaming around Dallas. There's so many Mexicans in Dallas. Um, and, and, you know, to, to even shout out the Mexican mafia and say, fuck the Mexican mafia, you know, stuff like this. You're crazy, dude. Like somebody's going to come see you. How long do you guys think it's going to be before someone touches this man? You know what I mean? Like I just know how the Mexicans operate. And uh, to me, I think he's going to get hit quick because it's, it's just – it's kind of retarded, like, you know, and, and if they don't kill him, then they're going to they're gonna come after him and, you know, threaten him or do whatever. Maybe he might pull out that pepper spray that he pulled out on the guys that, uh, on, on, you know, that, that he pulled out on Soldier Boy. So <laughs> I think that's insane. Um, at the end of the day, I just want it to be known. We do uh, stand with every race, man. Mexicans, you got to understand, Mexicans are different. We, um, we are... Um, we have whites, we have blacks, we have uh, brown skin, like Mexicans are every skin color. So you can't say Mexicans are just brown. Mexicans are fucking, um, Mexicans are fucking uh, um, every color. So when it comes down to skin color, like Mexicans, we're, we're every fucking color, man, you know. Latinos, we're every color, you know. There's black folks in, in Mexico and Central America and all that shit. That, that are fucking um, dark skinned and, and speak Spanish. They don't know a lick of English. So, you know, just let's not let him pull us into the bullshit that he's talking about. You know, um, this guy Armando says, I watch Charleston White, but watching don't mean I follow him. But he is a CIA operative and is here to call division to call division. But, but yeah, man. Um, at the end of the day, fuck Charleston White, man. You know, uh, I think you went too far. You know, if you guys uh, think you went too far, let me know. Um, Daniel Macias, somebody going to test his jaw. he been calling out a lot of people like I saw he was talking bad about those poor babies in Uvalde. Yeah, that dude's crazy, bro. Like, it's just reckless. You know, it's one thing to talk about anyone else, you know, um, you know, that's, you know, that, that you're beefing with or you got personal, you know, most of these people he doesn't even know in person. He's just, he knows he's going to stir up shit. 
um, you know, somebody's going to sock him on his other eyeball and, <laughs> you know, because he only has one eyeball. He was, you know, I was looking at his video. He says he only has one eyeball. He shot it out with a, with a slingshot. And fuck Charleston White at the end of the day. You know, I was with the entertainment where he's talking about all these people, but to recklessly talk about Mexican people and uh, talk about kids that are not here to defend themselves and and, and, and all the... Uh, yeah, so, you know, at the end of the day, we just have to uh, do better out here uh, and not cause division. Uh, we still got love for the, for, for the black folks. We're not letting uh, Charleston White speak for everyone, you know. Um, I have personally have a lot of uh, black family as well. Like I say, uh, the bigger part of my family is is, is the blacks. You know, uh, I, I got uh, my sister's married to a black man. She has kids with them. I got nieces that are uh, uh, black as well. So, you know, we're not going to cause division over that. But, you know, somebody should check that fool and uh, let him know that uh, he shouldn't be out here talking like that. You know, it's very disrespectful. Uh, to the people, and uh, I, I think he's uh, putting himself in, in position to get hurt, speaking all the negativity that he's throwing out there.